Good evening, Trade Flare family. Welcome back to the nightly breakdown where we break down what happened today in the stock market as well as give you an idea of what we're looking at into tomorrow. Now, before we head over to conduct a technical analysis of the SPY and five stocks, let's look at some key points to get a broader view of where we stand. So the first key point I wanna talk about is the growth industries and how they're popping. And like I'd mentioned last night, without speculation, financial conditions are favorable. Growth stocks can feed off of this environment. And some of these speculative growing industries are taking advantage right now and we can see that with the genetics and genomics plus the ev industry and the clean energy stock as far as genetics and genomics intelia therapeutics was the one that surged today they announced positive results in a phase one study of a gene editing treatment for a disease called transthyroidin amyloidosis we saw companies like crispr therapeutics and editas medicine get some steam off of this as well said so we also saw the ev companies and the clean energy companies go as well a few of them that really caught my eye one of them was n phase energy as far as evs go i really like fisker and i like lee auto especially because china is pumping right now i do expect to see some more inflows to china and european companies so i'm also watching lee baba baidu jd so watch these so next key point i want to talk about is facebook and the antitrust news that we saw today so we saw the news we saw it pop and facebook closed up over four percent today the reason being that the federal court on monday dismissed the federal trade commission's antitrust complaint about facebook the ftc tried to sue Facebook last December. However, the court ruled on Monday and said that the FTC failed to prove its main contention and the cornerstone of the case that Facebook holds monopoly power in the U.S. Uh, personal social networking market. We saw Facebook shoot up over 4% and this was the first time Facebook ever closed above market cap 1 trillion. So this was a key milestone for Facebook and its investors and some good news for the company which has a solid environment to work around right now. So that's why we saw this big pop we want to watch to see if facebook will continue to lead tech next let's head over to our last key point which is as always our sector as far as the indices the nasdaq was the leader today the spy was right behind and the dow was the lagger also notice that iwm russell and small caps were lagging the dow so small caps were down growth was leading value and as far as the sectors went communications led and tech was right behind and utilities was up over half a percent as well on the downside we had xle the energy sector the financial sector and the industrial sector so this is probably based on the fact that we ran up on that news, but there is really no deal yet on the infrastructure deal. So there's a little quick sell off and we're right back to growth. We do want to see if these industries continue to sell off. I like the banks right now. I like where they're at with the stress test. We saw that news after hours where they, uh, they increased a lot of their dividends. So I do want to keep my eye on that sector as well. So now that we have a broader idea of where we stand, let's head over to do a technical analysis of the SPY ETF, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Looking at the daily today, we see this hammer can closing above all-time highs there's volume to support this candle there's overall a lot of energy in the tech sector right now which has a lot of weight we're also going to get the first of the semiconductor earnings on thursday it's going to be micron and that could spark some more excitement some more tech energy as far as the banks are if the banks can come back and if the banks can get some more energy that could lead to a broader market move to the upside as far as where we stand we're looking at whole and half dollar marks you start to see any reversal patterns painted at these whole and half dollar marks then you start to look for reversal we'll also be looking at our rsi indicators but as far as where we are right now we still could go higher we want to see if we can break above today's high tomorrow and want to see if we can get a push from the banks and the industrials so we really want to watch those for the bounce so now that we know where the spy is at let's head over into the watch list starting off with grow generation ticker symbol grwg and this is a company that was just added into the russell 3000 and this is a cannabis company but it does not sell cannabis directly to consumers rather it focuses on selling hydroponic cultivation equipment and plant nutrients to cannabis companies of all sizes so I do kind of like this one as far as long-term investing I like this as a weed play right now especially with cannabis not being legalized they can still sell this equipment there's no risk to be rated there's really a different competitive advantage here too let's look at the daily chart here looking at this chart we have this flag it's breaking out and today it broke out with a bunch of volume up over 11% with that Russell catalyst right behind it and that long green breakout candle closing above these highs over at 47% 
789 accompanied by a lot of volume as well as a first blue bar on this TTM squeeze indicator. This is telling me that buyers are coming into this. This is not in a consolidated state anymore. If we do get a follow-up run tomorrow, I think we could head all the way up to 5534 before we run into any larger resistance. So keep your eye on grow generation. I like the stock. I like the pattern. We've traded this before. We've done this before. We can execute this. So let's be careful because these stocks can move a lot. So their option chains can be really pricey. That's because of the implied volatility that these contracts will have. Next up on the watch list is Activision Blizzard ATVI. It really had a good day on Activision. These contracts jumped a lot. We had a big green continuation candle off of this bounce right near its 200 day moving average. And this company's in a great environment to pop right now. We've seen volume build up for the past few weeks. If we do get a follow up candle tomorrow, I think we could head all the way to $99. I really do like the August contracts a little bit farther out the money here. They haven't moved as much. A lot of the upcoming contracts shot up today on that big move. And the farther out the monies are starting to move. So I'm watching those for the August 20th call. Next up is Redfin. And if you know anything about real estate, you probably know what Redfin is. And this is a good environment for Redfin to run. Looking at the daily candle structure, daily hammer candle off of the 200 day moving average. And it's right in the middle of a gap range, poor structure in here. So if we do break above, I think we could go higher all the way to the top of the gap at 68.29. I like the $70 calls right now. I also think this is gonna be a good company long term. So definitely keeping my eye out for Redfin. Next up is Lemonade. And this is another growth company that I think is in a great position to move. And I'm first looking at this 113.18 level. And if that could break, we could probably fill all the way up to 119.90, which will be the bottom of this gap with the top at 126.74. We're really starting to see these growth companies, these IPOs from last year really start to run. So watch out for this one. Next, over to our member suggestions. And first up, I've got Workhorse. We got the first candle that I had been expecting today. I mentioned last week on Workhorse that I thought we would go up to $18 or $18.50. We touched $18 today, right before we saw a quick sell-off. We still closed positive with a longer green body than the top wick. So buyers held this thing up pretty nice. We didn't see a crazy emotional sell-off after that run. We could probably see a few days of consolidation. Next, I want to see that $18.57 level break. The short interest being so high on this, this one could squeeze, so watch out for workhorse. Next member suggestion is Apple, and we've been riding Apple on this way up here. But right now, we're looking at a little bit of a resistance at 135. We could potentially break on this first touch because we did see those three days where we pulled back, loaded up, and with the tech sector being so strong right now, these sellers are not very strong right here. We back tested this trend line break, and now we're above it. Now we're looking at this 135 level to break. Then we could probably head up to 137.21. Also notice every other big tech stock has ran to all-time highs. It would make sense for Apple to do it as well. I like the break of this pattern. If we can get above and hold above 135, it could be really nice. So keep your eye out on Apple and the big tech stocks as a whole. And that wraps up tonight's nightly breakdown. If you enjoyed the video, if you gained value, or if you learned something, make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified whenever we post any live or educational content. If you're looking to join our team and be surrounded and motivated by our online community of traders and investors, as well as gain access to trade signals that let you know whenever we make a trade, check out the link in the description below to join our Discord, gain full access by upgrading to TradeFlare Pro, get half off your first month using the discount code TFPRO2021. But don't be mistaken, we are not financial advisors and none of this is a recommendation. The stock market is risky and you could lose money, so use the information inside these videos at your sole discretion. And as always, you cannot forget that time is your most valuable asset. So quit wasting it. Get up, get out, and go get it, my friend.